we are talking about sp3 dehybridization as its name suggests it contains one s orbital three p orbital and one d orbital it means contribution of s orbital will be 20 percent contribution of p orbital will be 60 percent and the contribution of d orbital will be again 20 percent so here i am taking the example of pcl5 for better understanding of this sp3 dehybridization now coming to the steric number for this pcl5 so this pcl5 contains five sigma bonds and the steric number is equal to number of sigma bonds plus total number of lone pair of electrons present in that central atom here it is phosphorus so steric number is equal to 5 plus 0 because it doesn't contain any lone pair of electron so steric number will be 5 it means 5 orbitals are involved here that is 1 s orbital 3 p orbital and 1 t orbital so 1 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 5 now coming to the details about pcl5 so here central atom is p that is phosphorus and the atomic number is 15 it means in first cell it contains two electrons in second cell it contains eight electrons and in third cell it contains five electrons so here we will take the valence cell that is third cell which contains five electrons so in ground state valence cell contains two electrons in 3s orbital and one electron in 3px one electron in 3py and one electron in 3pz so this is the ground state for phosphorus now in excited state one electron of 3s will be excited and it will go to the 3d orbital so here all these orbitals which contain electron that is 3s 3px py pz and 3d all these five orbitals will be mixed together and they will form a new type of orbital that will be known as hybrid orbital with equivalent energy and equivalent shape it is similar to that we are having one glass of sugarcane juice three glass of pomegranate juice and one glass of dewberry juice we will mix together all these five glass of juice and after that we will redistribute so after redistribution we will again get five glass of juice which contains the characteristic of sugarcane pomegranate and dewberry juice which is visible here so if we are talking about any glass that contains the characteristic of 20 percent sugarcane juice 60 percent pomegranate juice and 20 percent dewberry juice because here one glass of sugarcane three glass of pomegranate and one glass of dewberry juice was present so percentage will be accordingly similarly sp3 dehybridization takes place similarly you can see here we are having five hybrid orbitals which are represented here in green color and each orbital contains one electron so this one electron will be shared with another chloride atom and after that overlapping they will form sigma bond so total five sigma bonds will be formed in pcl5 and here hybridization will be sp3 hybridization now let's understand this sp3 dehybridization with 3d representation so here you can see that we are having one s orbital three p orbitals and one d orbitals all will be mixed together and they will form a hybrid orbital which will be visible like this orientation of these hybrid orbitals will be trigonal bipyramidal and if we are talking about the angle then horizontal orbitals are known as axial orbitals and vertical orbitals are known as equatorial orbitals so angle between a and e orbitals will be 90 degree angle between e e orbitals will be 120 degree and angle between a a orbitals will be 180 degree here a represents to axial orbital and e represents to equatorial orbitals now with these five orbitals of phosphorus chloride will be attached or chlorine atoms will be attached by overlapping and they will form 
five sigma bonds as you can see here other examples showing sp3 dehydrogenation are sf4 cl3 f2 xeof2 xef2 etc